Once you get there, it's so simple. This is the part usually people kind of wonder. You know, am I on the right path? Because the person always getting off on the street, right? So he's kind of wondering. Oh, right. Plus, you see a little bit of a uh, little seedier sides of uh, Las Vegas, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the art district. It's a little bit. Remember, even though like those houses, that just. You know, you think they would develop those, eh? Yeah. It's, kind of, it's kind of hard, too, because if, if those ones were, like, you know, run down to begin with. Yeah, but the, yeah. they have, like, a lot of, like, uh, bill and bond plays. I mean, they're trying, they're trying to. Well, there's, there's a lot of, like, rippers there, right? Strip joints? We saw those, like, oh, it's awesome. I mean, everything. Yeah. I just know that, you know, usually anything that's past, like, this, this circus circus, I mean, not the circus circus, like, this track starts to get a little bit, you know, on a, the shadier side. <laughs> so, yeah. the, you know, the security guy usually say, don't go walk there unless you need to. And the daytime is okay. Nighttime, we're yeah. well, yeah. yeah. It was, like, super hot today. Not as hot as yesterday, but yesterday was extremely hot. Today is just super hot. <laughs> 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 right, there's a heat wave all over, but this is really, really hot. Today, come out right now. It's too hot. They're laying back in the room. You see them on the silver road. Obviously, if you uh, are thinking, you know, if you, I guess a lot of uh, folks who are like, live close enough to Vegas and drive down here but keep that in mind if you're going to drive you come on the strip you know what I mean like this is what you're going to encounter right especially all this construction now right this is, this is my personal opinion yeah. like the heat wave I think people should stop taking their private jet <laughs> oh man take less of those please oh. the, the rich people yeah are you trying to help the environment supposedly <laughs> <laughs> less, less, less uh, private jet flights and bring back the straw, the yeah. plastic straw. They find that with uh, uh, the paper straw, paper straw it melts quickly or it disintegrates. Yeah. And then like you know, you're, you're sucking on uh, the paper. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And like sometimes you know, it'll, like break off and you're like, oh, which kind of ruins the train ride. Right. This bridge right here is. Uh, it's all red over here. That's uh, Blake Shelton's new, uh, uh, I guess, like a bar slash restaurant. It's pretty. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, they have live entertainment. Yeah. It seems like a, a fun place to go to. Oh yeah. We passed by yesterday. And it was like pretty packed. Elevated. It's not just country. From what I heard, they have different music on different levels. Beautiful. So. That's the Flamingo, or Flamingo Street, right? Right here. Yeah, what up? Flamingo. Oh, Drive, sorry. Sorry, I'm not from here, I'm from Toronto. If you want to go to the Rio, the Palm, this is where you take it here, right? Yeah. yeah. That's too far to walk, right? I mean, 
Well, not in this heat. Not in this heat. I think in the past they have shadow, like casino provides shadow bus yeah. to go to the, the Palm or the Rio. Yeah. But now they don't. I guess, you know, ever since the COVID. Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of things. Nothing has changed. Yeah. Yeah. We no longer have the you know express bus on the strip that takes you directly to the outlet mall. Yes, yeah, so there's usually one. Yeah, you take it right on the strip, right? Because now we have to just get off. Like I mentioned, Bay 19, which we'll, we'll show you. Well, it's like the transit hub yep. where all the, the bus is. And then it's like literally like a five-minute uh, little ride to the outlet. And then also from the outlet, you can uh, get on that and go when you're coming back and go to Fremont and then uh, take the bus back. Right? Yeah. I think that bus just goes, goes into a loop. That's yeah. it. This is Harris Casino. Right there is the Mirage. It will not be around soon enough. And that big one right there, you see, it's Treasure Island. Funny, I find uh, being from you know Toronto, Canada, we live we live obviously near large bodies of water, so the air for us is uh, uh, a lot more moisture, right? And uh, I'm not sure if you can hear my voice, I'm a little bit hoarse because um, being here a couple of days, because it's so dry, it's uh, a dry heat here. Um, it is part of the desert. Yeah, I get like uh, really rough, or I get like a slight cold or something. Because you, mostly you also have like extreme. Um, air condition, you know, in, in like the casinos and stuff, and then you go out, it's like almost 40 degree plus, right? So, uh, but when we come up to this side, I actually kind of find it can breathe a little bit better um, because there's so much you'll notice a lot more water uh, with this, yeah, the wind. Right? So it's, it's kind of ironic. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. This big volcano used to do huge explosions. You all see it obviously on YouTube. Nice little casino. Had some decent luck there. Uh, I do a little bit of gambling because there's no channel. And uh, yeah, just do it for fun. Look at that. That's beautiful. Right? The Venetian fountain. Yeah, the Venetian fountain. The Yep, the gondolas. Oh, what are they doing over there? Always like, you know, non stop construction in there. So we're on. Sorry. Like a crane going up. Yeah, lots of cranes. So we're on the Deuce, and we're riding towards the North Outlet oh, in Las Vegas. Not that sure. Thanks for watching. Lotso, the wind, the encore. This area here, I find a lot more, like I mentioned fountains so the moisture in the air so like I mentioned I'm, I'm Canadian uh, Torontonian and uh, uh, it's the fashion show oh it's the fashion show it's like saucer it's like a flying saucer yeah literally it is. Yeah. there's lots of restaurants in there oh yeah tons of restaurants there there's a Japanese one, right, with a good uh, sushi bowl. So what we notice is a lot of restaurants, they close early now. I yeah. Mean, I think like by 10 o'clock most restaurants are, are closed. Yeah. So we are looking to grab like a late night thing. I mean, there's still some restaurants that open late. Yeah. But it's mostly like fast food that will open a yeah. bit late. Uh, we are talking about any kind of sit down place yep. and uh, try to grab your dinner before 10 o'clock. Before 10, I don't know what it is, 10 o'clock now? 
Somebody's even nine o'clock, eh? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Before in the past, they, they go like pretty much Late. to midnight. Yeah. Because we, uh, we've been coming here a long time. Um, and uh, we've noticed, and also uh, on this trip, I, I have noticed the food inflation. Even on fast food. Like I know, uh, I know I post it. I know some people think it's more common. We're, again, we're from uh, Toronto, so uh, we don't have some of the fast food joints you guys got. And frankly, your fast food tastes a lot better than ours. And uh, your fast food, actually, the portions are bigger. Though I will say, it has uh, gotten smaller, and uh, the price has gone up. But uh, it's still, I think, value-wise, it's still better than what we have in Canada. So, uh, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. If you want, if you want to look for like affordable eats, then you know this trip is it's a bit, yeah. it's a bit pricey. If you want something more affordable, then you have to be going off this trip. Yeah, yeah. We we uh, under the we got the bus pass here. It's three days, um, all you can eat, uh, twenty bucks per person, and then we uh, we'll go off trip as well. Uh, we just find it useful. that you'll be, you'll be waiting yes. for the bus at least like half an hour wait. Yes. Uh, if you're, I know some people I have are from Toronto, uh, depending on which channel, but uh, it's not like the TTC where, where it's pretty frequent here. It's not frequent. Folks here do not use the public transit as much. A lot of people drive here, right? So I don't know, Uber's an option here. Uh, I guess taxis too. Uh, we will find that the, the, the local that use the public transit here are more tailored to like the low income family. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Right, so some people often rent cars down here, right? So, uh, uh, just you know. in certain areas of, of uh, Vegas, um, I'd say off hours, you, you don't want to be that. So. We're probably going to be able to show you some of those areas as we keep going. So there's Encore and the wind. This is the newer. The oh, that's um, Resort World. Resort World. Oh, jeez. Because I keep looking at the the, the uh, oh, that's right there, the Hilton, Conrad, and Crockett. That's the three hotels, the three levels. Yeah. Here on the strip, but there's other one too. That's Durango? Yeah. That's really far to go. It will be going bad, but that needle there is the strap. In case you're wondering, it's just a sort of thumb right there. It's dry. I'm like, oh. So here's Resorts World. It looks close, but it's still a walk. Yeah, this is, yeah, everything's a walk here. Um, got some little shops here. Um, there's like this, there's lots of taco places there. There's like oh, yeah. three, three different types of There's this one here, the El Gordo. El Gordo's right here, yeah. Past it. Yeah, El Gordo is right by this night here. Venture Center, really good, but it's really busy. You go at night, you expect to wait outside. This weather, I would wait outside. A lot of people shop at the Ross for Less. Oh, the Ross, yeah. Very, uh, folks like the disc discounting stuff, they have a ton of stuff. <coughs> They also have their like their Marshall here as well. Oh, yeah. Marshall's here, yeah. Yeah. Basically, they're the owner of winners in Canada, right? So it'd be equivalent. It'd be pretty in front yard. I think that's for less. There's certain state has it, certain state don't have it. Yeah, Pepper Mill right there. That's a popular uh, place. Folks go out. Yeah. Yeah. Been here a long time. Right there is Circus Circus. You see the clown? Elvis Presley. Now you're going to do it when you get to the show. Las Vegas. 
If you turn in here, there's another casino called the Westgate. Um, that's where Elvis actually used to used to play, and they, they have like an Elvis statue. Um, that's pretty cool. It's kind of a walk though. And this year, and then when you turn in, the, 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 the fall, December month, you can walk. Yeah. This number's not, not, not an issue. Right now, well, we always emphasize that we're like really, really comfortable walking for yeah. yeah. Lister City. Oh, wow. Extra time. Oh, this is lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> we drove, man. Right. Nah, 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 There's circus, circus. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Insert the coin. Wear gloves. Oh. Okay, wear gloves. Yeah. yeah. You like that physical touch, you know? Yeah. Coins into the slot. Yeah. Because it's like an electronic ticket. That's okay. But I think I think if you use like if you use a physical coin, I guess with that touch, you actually know how much you're putting in. Yeah. Versus like if it's an electronic ticket, you slap in the bucket. Slap in the bucket. A button all the time. One thing that when when is like oh, that goes my hundred dollars. Exactly. I think with the bucket of coins, like okay, half half my coin is gone. Oh wow! Look at that, June twenty seventh. The NHL awards are here. On the draft, they're doing the draft at the sphere. That would be cool. Oh, here's a little Sahara. I ain't never gonna always do this place. Yeah, yeah. This place is all the way back, 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 Don't worry, folks, we're still on the right way to the outlet. It is far, the north outlet. If you're looking for the south one, I have that on uh, on my channel, on the hobby channel. This is on the opposite end of this. Yeah. You're, this is going north end. Yeah. Approach. I mean, that's the strap right there. The Hera Express. Yeah, the next traffic light doesn't take street Sahara. Yeah. The Hera is on the back. And then this kind of ends the strip, right? Yeah, at this point, over here. We're here. Yeah. Like anything beyond beyond that strap is one of the you know. <laughs> yeah. Security usually advises you not to walk yeah. in that area. Yeah, it's funny. Years Daytime ago, is okay. I guess nighttime is still yeah, there. Yeah. It's funny. Years ago, we, were, we came here and we were walking to this track. This is like, we're talking like over 10 years ago, right? So it was like the first time we came to Vegas. And I remember one of the locals said hello to us, nice guy. And he just told us, the, you guys, you know, it's okay to walk to the, I think we pretty much at the strap point, right? He goes, but well, don't, don't walk uh, further down past that. Especially during the dark, uh, during the start. He goes, don't do that. And we're like, okay. <laughs> Get mug. Exactly. Yeah. Very nice, nice gentleman to give us some yeah. advice there. There's a big uh, souvenir place in yeah. Vegas. I went to buy souvenir. It's a very large one. Yeah. Tons of restaurants down here in terms of the Sahara. But yeah, this souvenir shop here. Got this Walgreens here. Yeah. I think they still have the old, like the old school McDonald's. Oh, there on the Is corner. That yeah. One? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that was further down that. I know that with the the yeah, old Mick, Mick, uh, the, the founder. The founder, yeah. right? You see, like, the old, the old, the old uh, structure. Yeah, the, the hamburger walking with the, walking with the hands. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's a great movie, by the way. All right, so here's the strap. That they have. Yeah, so the old arches. The yeah. Yellow arch, the yellow arch. So you'll kind of know you're heading at the end of the strip by that, that arch over there. They put the new, that new marking there. Uh, the new Las Vegas sign. Yeah, the new Las Vegas sign. That's what they call it. Yep. Right now. Okay. It's a strip. You can actually like there's 
bungee jumping. Like roll, right? roller coaster ride up there on the top. Uh -huh. yeah. I remember it was bungee jumping, right? Uh, yeah, you could bungee jump down. Yeah, I know. No, thank you. It's like an edge walk or something. Yeah, I got it's them like a roller coaster that goes on the, go, the edge. Yeah. And then there's that slingshot thing, you know, the white oh, yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. They actually just shoot you in the air and then they bounce back. No, thank and you. And you need an umbrella yeah. then. No, oh, thank sure you. Sure, you could do that. I'm, no. not, I'm not a hype person, so no, no, no. I'll take a pass on that. I could just put on a scary movie that already give me the rush. I it's know. okay. <laughs> I don't need I don't need to be that. Okay, so yeah, here's the quote unquote piece of new Las Vegas sign. So now you see some cannabis stores. Uh, some wedding chapels. You know. There's lots of little wedding chapels right. here in this area. Right. And here's the strat. There's a hundred thousand dollar power wheel. Bob Stupak Avenue. But you'll also notice it's a lot more, frankly, run down. Uh, you know, it's interesting to see if they not, try to develop this area. Yeah. Well, because prices of homes are going up right, in Vegas too. They're like everywhere. So you think they have this area where they could develop, right? Yeah. Granted, I mean, you know, not sure if you want to necessarily live beside. I, I guess maybe they don't want to develop this area because they don't want, they want to, you know, build that. Lots of traffic. Because the lines that when you build like a, a community, yeah, you know, it does create that traffic, right? Whether that's you true. want it there or not. I mean, they, you have your pros and cons, right? That's true. Yeah, like like, like the one in Toronto has not the infrastructure. So like, yeah, all like the, all the, like the one that's in, in Toronto, for yeah. example, Liberty Village. Yeah. You should see the gridlock there. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice area to live in. Uh, you have to like drive through it during rush hour, and you know what? Good luck. Yeah, I know. You can, you can even walk faster <laughs> if you're driving. So as you can see here, it's you know not as uh, swanky as the strip. Still not horrible. But this is during the day, right? There's that golf place, Atomic Golf. They're really trying to push it, but I heard some like controversy. I don't know if I could golf in this if I did. Oh my gosh, I know. It's probably like sweating. I know. I think it's, I think it's indoor. No, it's like they, they do have a golf course oh, right at the, the wind. Yeah, you have to be like, oh, I'm a maniac. It's too hot. You can also access it from your current I guess you bring an umbrella. I don't think you're a golf carrying an umbrella. No, you know they set up the big ones, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. 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 Gotta be a really hardcore. Yeah, play, play early in the day. Yeah, true. I, I tried streaming. Uh, last stream, oh my gosh, my phone just like immediately died. It's too hot.
told her, Tim, you tell your nice pay for you to come out and get married and put it on the ground. You tell you what it's wrong. Tim, fuck the Lord, what the hell he thinking about? It's a peppermint hippo. It's a top, topless capillary. So that's what you're looking for? Here on Wyoming. Stars guys, uh, their shops down around down here. So if you want to visit, there's a barbecue place. Oh yeah, there's a barbecue place down there. We had this massive room. It was great. I forgot what's called. Yeah. yeah. Biggest content, um, you know. Okay, I'll do. I do lots of uh, stuff like that. What I found fun, but I uh, appreciate you watching. Right there. 